Friends star Matthew Perry returned to Instagram after a six-month social media hiatus, with one of his poignant final pictures featuring a loving picture with his actor dad on his Instagram just days before his tragic death. Perry, who played fan-favorite character Chandler Bing on the hit American sitcom, passed away overnight at the age of 54 after reportedly being found unresponsive in his hot tub and was found by his assistant. He was later pronounced dead at the scene by paramedics. Just last week, Matthew took to his page with eight. 6 million followers, sharing a snap where he is seen with his tight arm around his 82-year-old dad. He captioned it, Here is me, and my father John, both holding a beverage. The pair are seen smiling with Perry seen wearing a navy polo t-shirt and matching trousers and white socks, and John dressed in a red shirt, khaki chinos, and brown shoes. The pair are standing in what is believed to be the inside of Matthew's new pad. It has been reported the Friends star purchased his new $5 million Hollywood Hills mid-century home, which he reportedly acquired earlier this year. In his living room, Matthew and John are standing near a pool table and are posed in front of a purple bed, a huge plant and a colorful wallpaper art piece that has the words, I forget what I forgot. John is also an actor just like his famous son. He has appeared in The West Wing, L. A. Law, Days of Our Lives, and he has also guest starred in an episode of Friends. He appeared in the 1998 Friends episode The One with Rachel's New Dress, as the Mr. Bergen, the father of Jennifer Aniston's character Rachel's boyfriend Joshua Bergen, played by Tate Donovan. As well as his cameo in Friends, John was well known for starring roles in the films, The Legend of the Lone Ranger, Only When I Laugh, and Independence Day. Matthew once spoke candidly about his relationship with his father in his memoir Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, which was released last year, revealing his dad has left him after his split from his mother when Matthew was just one year old. He was raised by his mother Suzanne Marie in Canada after their divorce. He said, I was one. Yeah. So, I didn't blame myself quite yet. Matthew said despite this, the actor admitted he still idolized his father, that was mostly the way that I saw my father when I was young. On TV shows, and you know, getting shot through a door on Mannix, or something like that. That's my dad. Suzanne later married NBC journalist and correspondent Keith Morrison while John tied the knot with wife Debbie, with whom he shares a daughter. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116-123. Alternatively, you can email joe at samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch.